Okay, so this is my second attempt at this video. You're not gonna believe I spent the last 15 minutes recording and I had the the, the damn button muted, the sound muted. Anywho, let's get to it. I did or I finished the Google Cyber Certificate program in seven days. Yes, I did. I'll show you how I did it, um, why I did it, um, all that good stuff. So let's do this. First, I want to thank uh, AM1 for skills and resources. I want to thank MOT for productivity. I want to definitely thank C Boogie for self improvement. I want to thank uh, Keep It Techie for even making a video about the super uh, cyber certificate program from Google. I wish I had known this a year ago, two years ago. And I want to thank Nick Taylor and uh, Truth Teller 410 uh, because all of these guys have some impact uh, on, you know, how I approach life and my dealings in life and type and tech talk as well. So, um, basically this, the Google cyber certificate program, it's eight courses. It's eight courses broken up into four weeks. So what it was at, what is advertised as, um, if you, if you per put seven hours a week to the program, you'll have a certificate in six months. So I said, you know what, let me try and do this. I can do this in three. There's no way I'm going to take a program for six months unless no, no, no. So when I got into it, um, here's what happened. I went into this with kind of a big head, kind of, kind of arrogant because I, you know, I have a, a modicum of, of programming experience to a certain extent, whatever. I know the language. I know what to look for in the codes. You know, I thought I could kind of skirt through this with no real issues. Silly of me. I will tell you this, humble yourself immediately. Um, what, got me so arrogant is when I, um, once again, eight to 10 hours a day per course, I was able to do courses one and two in one day. And I said, well, shit, I can do this in six days. No problem. Right. Cause this is not that hard. And then as I got further along, I ran into course five and then we got into, we got into SQL and Python or no, got into Linux and then, um, SQL. And then I was like, oh, okay, okay. I, I struggled in five and then in six, I hit a, br a brick wall because what ended up happening was, I failed one of the tests in course six. And what happens if you fail the, the test at the end of the week in any of the courses more than three times, you are not allowed to retake it for 24 hours. So had I not failed a test in course six, I'd have, had, I'd have finished this thing in six days and not seven. But neither here nor there, um, I didn't realize, and silly me, which is, that's, is my arrogance and comes in, the Python, it wasn't the Python. It was more SQL than Python. Both of them were just dual headed, double headed monsters. I had troubles with both of the programming languages. Linux, not so much. Um, here's what I didn't like about the Google certificate program. It's the lab work, the lab work. And here's the, an example of the lab work. Let me show you guys real quick. Here's what I did not like. A lot of the lab work when it comes to courses f five, six, seven, it's like this. It's not very interactive. Yeah, they give you a task. Yeah, they have a, an example code and they tell you, okay, type this, run it and see what happens. And they ask, it asks you hint and then ask you questions of what you think it would take place. I didn't like this type of lab. I can't learn like this. It's not very interactive. The best lab they had was the Suricata. When we were learning Suricata, I wish they had done this for all of the lab um, quizzes and examples the way they did Suricata. Because with Suricata, it's easy to pick up, but it's how they structured this lab. Um, of course, on the right-hand side, you have the instructions and the, the task. But on the in the main page, you actually have you can actually interact with the code, and you get an uh, and, uh, and you get an, a quick feedback or whatever the case. It just feels like you're you're actually doing it, as opposed to. Uh, the other way, right? So here you, you see me at the very bottom. I'm installing sudo, right? Install and install Suricata and instantly it, you, it, it's you're interacting with it. I learn like this. I not saying I can't, but it's easier for me to learn, you know, to learn the other way than I can't. This is what is this? What are we doing here? Like, what are we doing here? Right? I understand it, but I can't learn like this, right? This may work for the mo the average person. I, me personally, no. I like to be my hands dirty. All right, I'm like a, I'm like a big ass kid. I want to get dirty. Pause. Okay, that's what I didn't like about the Google Cyber Certificate Program is the lab work. 
I wish the lab work were more intuitive to how they structured it for Suricata. Okay. Now, let me prove to you guys that I finished this thing in seven days. Would have finished it in six had I not failed the test in course seven. And you will fail the test. So get that out of your head right now. Don't try to do what I do. It's not about being intelligent. It's, it's about me having eight to 10 hours a day to, per course to play around with. I would get up in the morning, uh, do four hours, go to the gym, do my stuff, come back. And depending on how far I got progression wise, I finished the rest of the night out doing the course. So this is why you haven't been seeing me go live as much and post as much because I was trying to knock this thing out. So here's let's go through my cert tick, my certs, June 19th. Uh, June 19th this is when these are two courses I knocked out in a day. This is what kind of got me big headed, right? And then June 20th, uh, June 21st. Now this is where it, it kind of got, you know, getting into Linux was okay, but SQL and Python, anything with SQL and Python, you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle. Okay. June 22nd, uh, June 23rd, June 25th and june 25th all right so i'm official <laughs> i'm official like toilet tissue right so i i i acquired this skill and resource um for me my motivation was a personal challenge to see how how quickly i can get this done or at least not take six months like i'm like six months but once again that's only if you devote seven hours a week it's designed for working adults that are trying to pivot. They already have jobs and families and all that good stuff. I was in a very fortunate position where I had the time to kind of really go in head first. And plus I'm extremely dogmatic and very just, I'm just, I just doggedly persevere. And once I'm locked in, I'm locked in and there's nothing you can do about it. So it was a personal challenge for me to get it done in three months. And then once I got the first two courses done in a day, I was like, well, shit, I can do this in a week. Let's see if I can do this in a week. And I was hell bent on making this thing, uh, passing this thing in a week. Here's the other problem. You have to keep working the SQL and Python. So that's my personal um, challenge to myself. I got to keep practicing the Python and SQL because to be honest with you, going through this course the way I did, I don't remember much of anything. I do, I'll let you know, but you, I have to see it or someone has to say a word or something. I'm like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got a ton of notes. Right. And um, so for me, this is my pivot. This is a skill set I can pretty much right off, right off into the sunset with uh, course eight. They tell you how to do your resume, interview tips, stuff you should already know. Um, and then, they, you know, things you should need to do getting in the, involved in the cybersecurity com uh, communities. I will be texting uh, t Techie later on today. Um, but I, I just want to say this, like I was the narrative of men you know, either being productive, uh, having skills and resources and, and self-improving was facing so much backlash for no reason. And I said, you know, let me add to that argument and let me actually show um, my pivot or me acquire another skill to add to that argument. Um, it's a lifelong journey and people tend, tend to forget or they, they get to a point where, OK, I made it this far. I can stop. No, it's always it's always progression always ascension if you're not moving forward you're getting stuck or left behind and um yeah i just i just personally you know i want to thank all those guys i mentioned um for being inspirations and and in their own way because you guys don't realize who you're impacting and i want to say you you guys all you guys have impacted me um for me you know it was time for me to learn a new skill set like every five to ten years i'm like okay what can i learn what can i pick up have in my back pocket in case things go left, whatever. And, you know, with the thing of automation coming, coming, you know, full steam and um, the cybersecurity sector growing the way it's going to grow in the next few years. Okay. It's that's for me is an easy, easy pivot. And, you know, I am a kind of a nerd in that way where I like technology, but I just wanted to do my part and show my motivation as to why I chose to take it upon myself uh, being inspired by Techie, though he put the link out and made the video. Had Techie not put the video out um, and, and about the certificate program, we're not having this conversation. And I want to thank him for that because I wish this existed a year or two ago. Now, moving forward, do I want to take the CompTIA? Now, I'm sure they all, Dizzle and, and Techie would all agree that I, would, I should take the CompTIA. I don't really want to. Listen, 
if I can just kind of skirt by <laughs> and just do security analyst, that's the, I guess that's the profession, the, the lane I want to get into security analyst. I don't care about the programming. I don't care about, I, I mean, you, you have to learn it and know it. I don't care. How to, I don't care for sitting down. I'd rather monitor log networks. I'd rather use SIM tools to monitor stuff and then come up with uh, risk aversion factors assessment, you know, do the ch charts and graphs and talk to the stakeholders and like, Hey, this is what, and this was a problem. We fixed it. And this is what, you know, we saved you guys and money and time and resources and fixing this, this threat, this threat actor and his malware attacks and all this good stuff. And so I'd rather go that lane in cybersecurity. I don't care for coding and actually sitting in front of the computer and typing in code all day and trying to do this and debugging and all that. I don't care. That's not what I want to do. Okay. So I've gotten way too long winded with this video. Um, if anybody has any questions uh, about how to, uh, pursue the Google, the Google's cyber uh, security certificate on like the processes and the coursework, ask me, I'll happily help and answer. If you have questions about Python and SQL, go to techie and go to G Diz or go to those guys. I can't help you when it comes to Python and SQL <laughs> Linux. Eh, I can have a conversation, uh, with, uh, with Linux and I can, you know, dabble but Python and SQL, that is my weakness, my weak spots. I, I have to work on. And if, cause if I don't do these, if I don't do the practice examples and problems, I'm going to forget everything I pretty much just learned. So, um, that was my adventure. That is how I, um, acquired the Google cybersecurity certificate in seven days. Don't do what I do because the average person does not have eight to 10 hours a day just to focus on coursework. All right, go at your own pace. But listen, if anybody out there, if I, if I, you know, do the guy's work, if I do the, the work of Techie, Jizzle, G Dizzle, uh, AM1, MOT, uh, C Boogie, if I do their works and if I can inspire somebody to, for a, a guy to, to make the pivot and take a personal chance to, to himself to acquire a new skill set, I'm more than happy to, to help and, a, and answer questions. Uh, with that being said, sorry this video is long-winded, but it was a lot to show you guys. I wanted to kind of show you guys my little journey, uh, what I've been doing for the last seven days. So with that being said, y'all have a good one. Peace.